Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another PyQtify tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you an example on how to add a system tray icon for your PyQtify application. So many GUI applications today provide a special area on the desktop called the system tray or the notification area. So let me show you an example. So a Google Drive is a pretty uh, popular uh, example. So, so here you see the, the icon that if I hover my mouse, a uh, two tips is going to display, and this is the tray icon for Google Drive uh, application. Now, if I hover my mouse and expand my uh, notification area, so here I got three more tray icons. So this one is for Bluetooth and Windows Security and my USB device. So let's take a look at um, the image that I'll be using or the icon image. So I'll be using the Instagram image. So right here. And so just for demonstration, and the file name is going to be called Instagram.png. First, let's import our Python libraries. So we import a system module. And from the PyQtify.qt WordJS module, I'm going to import a Q application system tray icon. So Q system tray icon in a menu. I also import the, so from the PyQtify.qt GUI, I'm going to import a QIcon class so we can display the, uh, the notification icon. So the script is not going to be very long just because uh, the whole, the entire application is not uh, very complicated. So here let me create my app uh, application instance. And first, I'm going to construct my icon, my Q system, uh, tray icon instance. And I'll call this, actually, I'll call this tray icon. And from the Q system tray icon class, I'll pass the Q icon class. And this is going to be used to embed uh, our image. So our image is going to be the Instagram image. So I'll grab the file name and I'll just uh, pass over to the QIcon class. And next we need to specify the parent class. So our parent class is going to be the, uh, the Q application instance, which, uh, which is this app object. And since I want to display the tooltip, so uh, I'll do tray icon dot set to tip. And here's going to be the message that I want to display when a user have a his or her mouse uh, to uh, on top of the tray icon. So I'll say check out my tray icon. And lastly, you want to show the icon. So that's it. Now if I save and run the script, and here I made a typo should be uh, should be R I G V. Let me try again. Okay, now let me see. So I don't see the okay right here. So I just execute the Python script, and here's our uh, Instagram icon for our PyQd5 application. So as you can see, that when I hover my mouse on top of the the tray icon, it will get the two tip uh, message. Check out my tray icon. So let me show you one more thing. The icon is pretty useful. I mean, it just creates a very visually uh, usefulness. Uh, for our PyQt application. But what happens if I want to right click and I want to display a menu to get me a uh, different options to perform different type of tasks. So right now if I right click my mouse and since I haven't I don't have a menu created so nothing is showing up. So this is optional. But for now if you want to uh exit out the video uh I mean like feel free. But this is going to be pretty useful uh to add additional functionalities to the notification uh, icon. So here I want to uh, construct my queue menu uh, instance. And I'm only going to create one action, so which is the X action. And the X action is going to terminate the PyQt5 application. So here from, uh, from the menu instance, and I want to add an action. So it's going to be the, the message. And to 
create the the action that uh, linked to the the action. So I want to take the exit action object that trigger. So this is the signal name that connect. And here, this method is asking for a function or a method. And since we only, since we purely just want to terminate the PyQD application, so we can just do app that quit. And the last thing we need to do is we need to take the menu object, which is this object right here, add that to our tray icon object. So, so what I'll do is I'll do tray icon dot set context menu. So this means I'm going to pass a menu object to the and to the tray to the tray icon. So I'll pass the menu object, and that's it. Now, if I save and run the Python script again, it should me uh, terminate the uh, the the application. So if I uh, save and run the Python script, and if I hover my mouse to the notification area. And which is this one right here. So here's the two tip. And if I right click my mouse, and here I get this uh, exit action. And if I click on exit, and that's going to uh, terminate my PyQD fabrication. So this is it for this video. Just a very uh, simple exercise showing you how to create a tray icon for your PyQD application, and as well as how to add just a couple of very uh, useful functionalities to the PyQD file tray icon. Hopefully you guys found the video useful. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.